So what steps can you take in order to reverse your diabetes? It's just lifestyle modification and changing. Go back to the basics. Back to the basics says we don't eat too much. We eat the right foods. We don't eat a lot of processed foods. We don't eat a lot of sugar. We've got to move our body. We've got to sleep. We've got to get our mind right. Not a lot of negativity, decrease our stress. Now it is really hard when you have diabetes, when you're the full sledge of diabetes, when your insulin's really high and your sugar's really high, It is hard because people with diabetes that have really high blood sugars will tell you, I am starving. I crave sugar. I am hungry. And that's because their body is used to having such a high blood sugar level to 300 that when you get their sugar to normalize, you get it to go down to 100, they feel like they're starving because their body's like, oh my gosh, I don't like this. I liked it when my sugar was two and 300. And so there is an adjustment period and it can be difficult. Need somebody helping you through this process. There are medications that will help with this transition. I don't think that these are medications that people should stay on forever, but they definitely help with the transition. They help with the hunger and decreasing the sugar cravings. Some of them have been shown to help with cardiovascular risk and different things like that, but we've got to get that blood sugar down. You've got to get your mind right. You've got to get your insulin to calm down. And the main thing though, to make this sustainable and make it work, you've got to change your lifestyle. Diabetes and a lot of these chronic diseases are honestly a reflection of poor life lifestyle choices over a long period of time. Those poor lifestyle choices lead to chronic inflammation and chronic low levels of inflammation over time are not good. And so it's just changing that lifestyle. It goes back to education as well. Some people just don't know what to eat or they don't understand those things. You know, they're just doing what they were told by the commercials or the food companies or, you know, what they learned in school. I mean, we've got to fix the education and we've got to fix the lifestyle choices.